now that the holidays are coming, you know, Black Friday, which is absolute chaos, um, I think about two things. I think about video game consoles. It used to be the companies would release a hot new console. It's a little hard to find, but you can buy it. Now it's just madness. If they come out with something, it's like a ghost. It doesn't exist. It's annoying. You're better off skipping the whole thing. Just waiting in line for coffee or something on Black Friday. Even that's probably crazy. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to take a look at something that I think is pretty important in the um, in the modern endpoint management world. We're going to take a look at the Sketman product and talk about how we can deploy client authentication certificates through Intune without having an on-premise root CA or NDES server. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, just video games and, and, and coffee. I said what I said. So let's start talking about what Sketman is, right? Sketman is a cloud-based uh, cert authority, basically a CA. Um, but why do we need it? What's the big deal? And, and what is this making better? Um, so if you've been using Intune and you have to deploy client authentication certificates, you know about the NDIS server and SCEP. Um, so I try to pull up some architecture here. Let's open this in a new tab. This is, um, I mean, essentially you're looking at the traditional architecture for something like this. So you have your, your cert authority on-prem, you have Intune talking to your devices and what you're doing is you set this connector up this cert connector down here that sits on what's called an endes server and this endes server is what brokers requests from intune to your ca and then sends them to intune through an azure app proxy that the profile has information about so this is fine if you have a, an on-prem setup already and you're just trying to get those certs out there in fact if you were to google um intune endes um oh take a look at still one of the top first page hits so this is uh i wrote a four-part series I'll, I'll link to it below so if you do want to do that and you have it on-prem ca this walks you through how how you can set up both the end as the cert connector and the scap uh architecture um but here's the thing if you need to use client off uh cert certificates for something in your environment, you only have Intune and, and you don't have an on-prem CA, um, why bother putting all this in, right? So let's talk about Sketman and how we can make this, uh, how we can make this work and what is it. So if you take a look at this architecture, this is basically cuts all that out, right? You have Sketman, which acts as your CA and Endes, right? And it just brokers requests from Intune to give the certs to um, the client device. And it's fairly straightforward to get going. So what I want to do today is I want to talk about uh, setting it up, everything you'll need, all that good stuff, right? So uh, you need an Azure subscription to do this. Um, you can do a free one, pay as you go, whatever. Uh, look on Sketman for pricing. I am not someone you should be talking, uh, starting with money about, obviously. Basically, you can just do this as, as a pay as you go service and the Azure Marketplace, and that's what we're going to set up today. Let's go to portal.azure.com. Now, you do need a subscription to use this to Azure. So if you don't have one, um, actually, let me see. Uh, yeah, so you have to have an active subscription here. Um, having said that, we're going to go to the Marketplace. We are going to add Sketman. It's like going shopping here. And we want the Sketman Cert Simplified Deployment. And we're going to create that. Um, so just like setting up uh, anything, anything in here. Um, just like setting up anything, we need a resource group. I'm going to create a new one since I don't have any of this tenant, I guess. So resource group, uh, Sketman East US 001. I don't know looks official um there's plenty of things online about uh azure and um you know resource groups and naming i'm not the person who's going to help us do that so organization name uh we're going to say it's steve capacity okay um basically this is going to put us in the community edition um 
for Sket Man because they do require a license key if you're going to use this in a production environment. We are not. I'm, you know, going to basically just uh, show you guys how it works. Next. Good enough. Don't even bother. That's a fake phone number. I will not pick up. Okay, so now the resource is going to deploy. Um, and so I'll tell you a little bit about the resources it's setting up here. Okay, so it's going to be setting up an app service, uh, an app service plan. Uh, we're getting a key vault. That's the Skepman uh, vault right here. It gets a storage account attached to it. So basically, it's a full container of all the services you would need. Um, and they just deploy for you, right? Now we're getting our config files. Um, we also get a uh, log analytics workspace deployed as well. Okay, so now that the solution is deployed, we can uh, go to the resource. All right, once the resource is deployed, we can click on the actual app service in the resource group, and we can click on where it says default domain. All right, this, this will take us to our um, this will take us to the details of our Skipman instance, and you can see it's not really set up yet. So what we have to do is we have to go ahead and run this module, uh, basically this PowerShell module, and we're essentially going to run this. Uh, we can run it in PowerShell uh, version 7, 3 or newer. Uh, we also could run this in the CLI. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Just gonna click on the console up here, the Azure Cloud Shell. We're gonna click PowerShell and create storage in the same subscription. We can do that. So we're gonna let that sit. Okay, so now we are authenticated in. Um, and I am going to basically copy this and throw it in there. Paste, there we go. So this will basically go through and, and do the setup for us. Yeah, and you can see this is taking care of a lot of, this script takes care of basically everything we would have to do manually that we don't have to, right? Setting permissions to the storage accounts, right? Um, it's creating the Azure app registration for us, um, creating the API for that, permissioning it. it. It's just doing everything on our behalf. So this is a really great way to do this. Just kind of sit back and, and relax. I can assure you that setting up a manual Endes and Skep Connector is not this easy. Okay, so the next thing we have to do once all that's set is we have to go ahead. We're going to go back to our um, default homepage area, and we are going to see a lot of things now are different. Connected, so Intune is connected. The Read AAD privilege is connected. Read in uh, Read Intune is granted. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get the root cert established because all the client uh, auth certs need a root cert. So we're going to hit cl uh, click here to start. Uh, first node. Okay. And this is going to go ahead and create that for us. Root cert is being prepared. Prepared. It might take a minute or two. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to let that do its thing. So you're supposed to wait a few minutes and click refresh. If you're impatient like me, you can just hit the refresh button now or you can keep pressing it. Click, 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 click. Um, but yeah, the CA subject and thumbprint will show up. So we're just going to give that a second. OK, so now we hit refresh and we got everything we need, right? Um, so we can get that CA cert if we want to take a look at it, right? so we can keep it look at it so we have an actual root ca here right and that'll be important we're going to need that in a little bit so uh so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to intune okay i'm going to go to devices windows configuration profiles the first thing we have to do is deploy that root ca so i'm going to go to windows 10 settings uh templates and trusted certificate so i'm going to call this uh skip man trusted root and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to upload what i just downloaded which is that trusted root certificate Skip man root sir. It's going to go in the computer cert store root, which is exactly what we want. Now I will call out that you can have intermediary certs. 
if you have the enterprise edition not the free community one so if that's something you want from a security perspective that's not a problem i'm going to add all devices because everything should have the trusted root and we're going to create that that's not a problem now to create our client auth cert we're going to do a new policy windows 10 templates again and we want skip certificate so we're gonna call this skip man client auth cert and now what we're gonna do so i want a device cert we're gonna leave this on the aad device id right that's fine as far as the default um one year validity we're gonna do uh trusted platform module otherwise software um that's fine key usage we're gonna use the key usage as uh both of these uh bits we're gonna do 2048 sha 2 for the algorithm and now we have to select our root cert and we've already uploaded that so we're just gonna point to it okay so for key usage we're gonna do client authentication there we go renewal threshold we're gonna leave that on the default now we need our endpoint our skip endpoint so we're gonna go back to our uh uh our skip details page and we're just going to copy the intune mdm line that is the actual endpoint for skip we do next okay i'm going to actually push let me go back to assignments i actually missed that i'm going to add this to my m365 group m365 devices Okay, now I'm going to allow that to push and then take a look at a client machine. Okay, so now that we're on the client device, um, we're going to go ahead and check to see if this was installed. So I'm going to go to computer certificates. Um, let's make this a little bigger. So we should see a few things. So trusted root, I should see the skip man root, and I do. It's cool. And now under personal, this is issued to the device. There is our um, there is our issued by Skipman root CA and the two is the uh, into the, that's the actual Azure AD device ID. So if we go look this up, I can actually show you here. Uh, we're gonna find this device again because if we go to hardware, we could see the entry device ID six three six seven. And that's what it was issued to. So it followed our profile exactly. So now we have the root cert deployed. We were able to get a client cert. And we did this without having any on-prem CA or, or anything like that. Okay, so I get it, Steve. Why wouldn't I use my on-prem CA, build an endes, and go the traditional route? Well, you can. Okay, uh, that's absolutely fine. It's definitely a lot of steps and could be a pain to get going. Um, obviously, there's a cost associated with Skipman, but for organizations that possibly don't have an on-prem CA or don't have the infrastructure or don't really have the resources to manage it, this is a great solution because it's very easy to set up, right? Um, you can see we did it in... I'm at 25 minutes before editing this. So yeah, definitely not a big chunk of time uh, to get this going. It's really painless, works great in an in a, uh, Azure AD join device setup. So as I always say, you know, is, is something the best way to do something? There is no best. It's good to have the options and tools. So hopefully that helped. Um, that's, that's all I got for today. One, two, three.